SpaceX Starship rival New Glenn, Scrub or Rudd? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have the ending of some fireside. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a spacey day. I was up to about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning and awaiting for the new Glenn launch. I was gonna go live and I was thinking to myself, you know, Joe, you're stupid to stay up and try to go live. You know what these people do. They're constantly failing and they've been doing this for over 10 years. So I was reading a whole bunch of articles. I wanna give you my thoughts and then kind of combine a bunch of different things together for you today to give you an idea of what's going on with Jeff Bezos' new Glenn. Blue Origins New Glenn, which is basically the equivalent to Starship, but their version of it. Both are getting government contracts, but one is actually doing something and the other one is still doing nothing. So in short, the launch was scrubbed yet again at like 2.30 2 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. Yeah. So anyways, before we get into this, I just want to say that if you enjoy the content, throw it a thumbs up. That's very helpful. Don't forget to share it. Share the channel, share the video, share with your community. That would be very, very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe either. If you are subscribed, I appreciate that. Click this little notification button here. So when I go live, when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And Wednesday, just a couple of days from now, I will be live covering Starship. So this will be IFT7. I'm excited about this. There's a lot of good stuff, just chock full of good stuff on this test flight. It is going to be dramatic for sure. So join me for that. Once again, click that button, notification button, so you know when I will be live. Also, if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a thank you button that YouTube gave us down here. Thank you, YouTube. Click on that. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink goodness, I have over 400 videos now just for you. It's a lot. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy. And of course, the why behind it all. That's what this channel's always been about, is the why. And finally, if you're here, you will get free eBooks. All of my eBooks for free. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. And Megabit is back. <laughs> if you want Megabit, you'll find that on my store also. All of my merch is over there and my teas and my books and everything else. Go check those out over on jchristina.com. I love my little guy. Anyways, let's get right into this. And then once again, I'll give you my commentary. And finally, I wanna hear from you down below. What do you think about all this? What do you think about Bezos's company? What do you think about New Glenn? What do you think about Blue Origin in general? How do they compare with Elon Musk's SpaceX and their Starship? What are your thoughts? Blue Origin's New Glenn NG1, a morning of missed milestones. This morning was supposed to be historic for Blue Origin with a much anticipated debut flight of the new Glenn rocket NG-1. However, the launch was canceled because of a vague subsystem issue, potentially anything from a fueling glitch to an engine failure, leaving both fans and experts disappointed. What is new Glenn? New Glenn is Jeff Bezos' vision for space exploration, standing at 321 feet and designed for reusability. It's intended to launch satellites and potentially humans into orbit, despite being announced in 2012 and showcased in 2016, its first launch has yet to happen. A History of Delays Today's cancellation adds to the saga of New Glenn's delays. Over nearly a decade, there has been about six postponements, each due to various issues like technical faults, further testing requirements, and now the nebulous subsystem problem. Subsystem problem. I like that one. The dream of New Glenn. New Glenn's vision is to make space travel affordable, reusable, and routine, turning journeys beyond Earth into an everyday possibility. By lowering the cost of innovative design, it allows for frequent missions, fostering an era where space travel is as routine as air travel. New Glenn versus Starship. 
Comparing New Glenn to SpaceX Starship reveals stark differences. Starship, with its bold design, targets Mars and boasts full reusability, while New Glenn, with its partial reusability, focuses on Earth's orbit and has yet to launch. Both aim to make space travel more affordable through reusability, but SpaceX pushes forward with dramatic Starship tests, showcasing innovation as New Glenn awaits its first flight. Blue Origin's reputation on the line this morning's launch scrub might just be another strike against Blue Origin's reputation. New Glenn's persistent delays underscores a company that's struggling to keep pace. The contrast couldn't be clearer when looking at satellite counts. Blue Origin hasn't managed to orbit a single satellite, whereas SpaceX has sent up 7,652 Starlink satellites. Zero to almost 8,000. The Future of Space Exploration – Blue Origin vs. SpaceX This isn't a tale of a comeback. Blue Origin, once a symbol of Bezos' space vision, now faces increasing skepticism from investors and the public. In contrast, SpaceX forges ahead with Starship, demonstrating a clear lead in space deployment and broader space ambitions. Every failed launch attempt puts Blue Origin's NASA contracts at risk, contracts that were once their lifeline but now seem more like a burden. As Blue Origin stumbles, the vast differences between their zero satellites in orbit and SpaceX's thousands underscores their monumental lag. This paints a dramatic saga, Bezos' faltering dreams on one side and on the other Musk's relentless starbound crusade, defining the very landscape of modern space exploration. I couldn't say it better. I mean, this is absolutely the case, and I've said this for quite some time. I always make fun of Jeff Bezos, I call him Jeff Bozo, because of just how he is and how he does things, and you know, not every billionaire is created equally, right? And you have some billionaires that actually try to help the populace, and then you have other billionaires that are just, you know what I mean. So, I'm not really a fan of Bezos, never have been. I personally think he's like a librarian on crack, okay? He started out as a librarian, ended up making this company that was selling books and whatnot that turned into Amazon, and now he's got billions and billions and billions of dollars, but, He's still a librarian to me, okay? He's just not the brightest light bulb in the pack, but he just stumbled on something amazing. That's the way I look at it. Whereas I look at Elon Musk, I'm like, this guy is a freaking genius. That's it, you know, as simple as that. The contrast could not be more apparent. So what do you think about this? I've said this for quite some time. I really do not see Project Kuiper, which is Bezos's attempt to be a competitor with Starlink, for example, ever coming into fruition. Or if it does, it's gonna be years from now because they can't even get their own rockets up to place a single satellite in orbit. Not a single one. That is New Shepard, zero. That's New Glenn, never launched, zero. The answer is absolutely none. All launches from Blue Origin's New Shepard, for example, have all been suborbital. That's it. And New Glenn has never taken off. And once again, they started this thing in 2012. And then right around 2016, it got ramped up a little bit. And since then, a decade later, there's been six plus postponements. And yet another one this morning. And once again, I was sitting up for it and I'm like, you know what? I was telling you guys, if you are part of the community, you'll see on my community page, all different like screenshots of like a delay after 90 minutes and then another delay and then another delay. And it's like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. And you know, it's kind of stupid because I know this has been going on for 10 years. What makes me think that they're actually gonna get it right this morning? And yet again, they didn't. So once again, what do you think? Do you think that Jeff Bezos will ever be able to hold a candle to Elon Musk when it comes to SpaceX comparing to Blue Origin or when it comes to their Project Kuiper compared to Starlink? Right now, it looks like this. Do you think it will ever come into a balance? My personal opinion is no. 
but that's mine. I want to hear from you. What do you think? Down below, let's have this discussion. And don't forget, on Wednesday, just a couple of days from now, we're going to see IFT7. And the chances of it being canceled or scrubbed is unlikely. I would have to say there's a 90 plus percent chance that we will see it this week, most likely on Wednesday. And if it does happen on Wednesday, I will be live right around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because they are going to go live or it's going to launch at about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means that they will start broadcasting about 30 minutes prior to. So we will be able to hang out for a half an hour before launch. There's a lot of other channels that are going to be on for hours and hours and hours and hours. I'm not going to do that, right? bore you to death, but I should be online about an hour prior to. So once again, Wednesday, most likely 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyways, guys, if you're looking for this shirt, Megabit, pick it up. Go to jcristina.com. I hope you enjoyed the content. Throw it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your community. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. Do all of these things. And finally, Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and help support me and my family. Check out my merch, my tees, my books, my shirts, all this stuff. Once again, jchristina.com. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. 